Uh, today we're here filming from Audubon Country Club in Joliet, Illinois, the Super Mileage Vehicle Competition, which is part of Challenge USA's organization. The goal of this project uh, is to get these super mileage cars that these students have been building all year on track and trying to determine how many miles to the gallon their car can achieve. We've got uh, high school students from basically all over the Midwest. We've got teams from Iowa, we've got teams from Wisconsin, and teams from Illinois. So the Challenge USA event, really two classes of vehicles. We have super mileage, which are gas, uh, gasoline powered cars. and another type of car that is uh, built and tested with Challenge USA's event. That is called the Electrothon, where these cars are battery powered, similar to a, you know, a Tesla vehicle that would be on the road. The Electrothon battery powered vehicles are, are pretty fast. Uh, some of these vehicles are capable of getting above 40 miles per hour. These battery powered cars are trying to do the same thing. We're trying to determine how far we can actually make it with an efficiency of uh, looking at battery usage instead of gasoline usage. The goal is to try to go around two times on the track for a total of four miles, bring that car back in and then weigh the fuel. And we're going to weigh it on the way out, we're gonna weigh it on the way in, and we're going to compare the difference in weight of the, of the gasoline used uh, to determine that miles per gallon. So our first run, uh, it was me driving. We did make it around the track two times. The car started shaking a lot because our idle axle was offset a little bit. We didn't roll it on straight. So the chain kept slipping a little bit, but it didn't fall off. So I was able to make it around the track in just under the time limit. And we ended up getting 184 miles to the gallon first run. It went well, no issues. The steering's fine, the chain didn't pop off. So I'm happy with it. So after our first run, we started to feel confident. We could probably get our second run, which would be the minimum that we could place. But our chain kept falling off. Uh, partly, I noticed that the uh, every time we'd run the engine and throttle up, the idle axle would sway forward and it would put some slack on the chain, and it would the chain would come off. I was next in the driver's seat. Uh, unfortunately, I got about halfway through and chain popped and I was just stranded out there for a little bit. I was able to look around at the cool houses that were out there, but we took it back. We made a couple adjustments. The real engineering, the real problem solving is happening at the track when they realize after testing it out on the track that things are breaking. So it's a really cool process to be able to see those kids getting into those problems, diving in, and then trying to come up with those solutions on the fly. Is it too short or too long? Too long. Okay. okay. Just gotta grind it down a little bit. We all rallied to uh, try and fix our car because our everyone wants to see our car get two runs done. So when our chain popped, we brought the car back to like our toolbox. We all huddled around and tried to fix uh, what was inevitably our downfall. Oh, yeah. Very easy on that throttle. Feather it. <laughs> all right, give it a shot. I'm just, I'm just glad we got to make it around one time because we did get 184 miles to the tank, which would have been second place if we averaged around there on our second run. But we got disqualified because we couldn't make it on our second run because our chain kept falling off. But overall, I'm glad we managed to get through the first run. It was, it was just a sense of accomplishment. We're very lucky to have uh, people like Challenge USA putting on these events for these kids to have these opportunities to build these high mileage vehicles and really see what engineering is about in the real world. Uh, and I, I think there's not many better projects out there that are going to uh, give the kids these opportunities to see these problems, come up with solutions, and eventually become engineers uh, as a profession. I'd say this class really did help me uh, expand my engineering knowledge. Uh, it helped a lot with leadership skills, a lot of 
project-based stuff and it, it got me excited for college because my college offers something called Formula SAE, which is essentially this, but instead of high mileage, it's geared towards being as fast as possible. This is the axle for the wheel. So we just, we need to turn it so that we can put a bolt on it. So I mean, coming into this year, uh, I wasn't too sure about uh, what I wanted to major in because I'm a senior, so I wanted to dip my toes in, into engineering and I think I got a really good overall perspective of what engineering actually is. And throughout the year, it grew grew on me and so I'm actually majoring in mechanical engineering next year. So yeah, now we're just like cleaning up the threads so that uh, we could fit the bolt on. So one of the best ways to uh, learn how engineering really functions in the real world is to give these kids practical projects like the super mileage vehicle. Uh, you know, there's, there's no substitute for it. You can give worksheets all day and, and kids are going to be able to do math and science, which is wonderful. But applying that math and science or those math and science concepts to actually building a project is, is going to give these uh, students here at Hersey and in District 214 a leg up on everybody else in the country that, that's not doing that. Applying those math and science concepts to the project is going to allow them to find problems with, with things in their future and come up with those solutions, hopefully pretty quickly and accurately to be able to uh, get things back working the way that they should. Uh, these solutions can you know, be as complex as, as things that they're working on in their professional life or as simple as you know, switching a light switch out uh, in their homes. So again, practical learning is invaluable for these students. Ready, one, two, three. Hershey. Yeah, smile and say it with enthusiasm. One, two, three. Hershey. I don't think they heard you in Arlington Heights. Let's go a little louder. One, two, three. Hershey. Oh, good job, good job.